1986, Greg Lamont is racing for the La Vie Claire team. He has just finished Paris on a third place behind winner Sean Kelly and has shown he's in a good shape. One week later, the Italian Riviera is welcoming the peloton for a 293km race between Milan and San Remo. Five riders are in front of the race with a maximum lead of 10 minutes. Amongst them, La Vie Claire rider Kim Anderson. After the Capo Berta, two survivors of the breakaway, Anderson and Cavallo, are caught by a chasing group with Steve Bauer, Mark Madio and Stephen Rokes, as most important names. In the peloton the Panasonics are chasing, but Lamont is right behind them in third position. Bauer is testing the group on the Cipressa but Rogues, Madio and the others are following the Canadian La Vie Claire rider. Fignon, Moser and Van der Arden are setting the pace in the peloton. With only 20 km to go, the gap is reduced to 20 seconds. Lamont is in a perfect position for the final and controls the race. The leaders are caught on the first slopes of the Poggio, the final climb of the race. Greg is coming to the front with Van der Arden and Kelly in his wheel. Bauer is going full speed with Lamont right behind him. Are we going to have an attempt of Lamont who seems to be ready to attack? Still 5 km to go and Greg Lamont attacks right after the steepest part of the climb. The Italian rider Becchia is the only one who can stay in Greg's wheel. The motorbikes are too close and Lamont is getting annoyed. Only one rider succeeds in joining the leaders. It's Sean Kelly, big favorite for the win. Kelly talks to Greg, takes the lead and sets the pace. It seems like the winner of this Milan San Remo is in this breakaway. Lamont and Kelly are taking risks in the descent to San Remo. Becchia is just trying to follow both riders. And with only one kilometer to go, their lead seems to be big enough to go for victory. A sprint will decide who will win Milan San Remo. Pecchia launches a sprint, but soon Kelly passes the Italian with Greg in his wheel. But Kelly is too strong and wins the sprint before Greg Lamont. Another second place for Lamont in a big race, and again Sean Kelly, who seems to be Greg's nightmare. <laughs> 